All right, so before I get into the commentary that you actually clicked on the video for, I wanted to talk about two things. First of all, if you commented on my exclusivity video telling me that I was dumb and just needed to buy a PS4, I want you to know that you were either the master of irony or that video went way the hell over your head. If you unironically told me that I was a crybaby that needed to just buy a PS4, I would actually prefer if you unsubscribed now because then the rest of my commentaries that are in that same nature will also go over your head and we only have such precious time on this earth, I don't want to spend it reading your stupid comments. Also, if you have noticed that I've been putting more Warframe on the channel and streaming that a lot and sometimes just replacing an upload with a Warframe stream, and you don't care, and you're happy to see me enjoying a game, uh, thank you. I mean, really, I've been, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's kind of a dead period for Call of Duty right now, the new Ghost Recon isn't out, and it's nice to have a game that I'm really enjoying and I'm having a ton of fun with. I mean, even certain Warframe players that watch me don't think I'm playing the game properly, I'm not doing it right. But if you guys can see that I'm having fun, even through my pessimistic undertones that just kind of reek throughout my life, that, honestly, thank you. It's been a lot of fun. The community's been great. The streams have been a lot of fun. And thank you for making them worth it and being just extra cool about it. So now on to a topic about Modern Warfare. I'm going to be doing three videos, one about melee, one about shotguns, and one about sniper rifles. And I thought I'd start with the hard one first and just go right into snipers. Believe you me, this video is not going to be fun to make because you guys have heard my position on this already and I'm not going to reiterate anything in this video, I'm going to be hypothetical, I'm going to talk about my concerns, but let me just get my main point of view out of the way. I don't like quick scoping. I don't like getting trick shotted. I don't like getting no scoped. I don't like any of that. If you are not hard scoping a lane with a sniper rifle, I hate freaking dying by you. That's just something I've always hated. Now, at the same time, Call of Duty is not Battlefield, and the maps are smaller, the gameplay is more fast paced, and you can die in like fractions of a second across the map from assault rifles at times. So if the snipers weren't good, at like close range engagements and quickly deleting somebody off the map, I think they would just be underused and just not worth it. So I might not like it, but I understand it. That's kind of what I'm saying. I think it's up to the Call of Duty developers to design maps that do not regulate us into one speed and you know one style of play. Having map variety and then variety within each map will allow different play styles to come out so people don't have to force their you know one shot kill bolt action scoped rifle into CQC roles, like, like that's just kind of one of the big problems. People aren't going to snipe and take the time to be slow with it if the maps don't allow that, so it's on them to design the maps better. That's why I made a video about their map design blog post because it gives me some hope that they're moving towards that variety because that's basically what they said in the blog post verbatim. Because I think that's where games such as Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty Ghosts, Modern Warfare excelled. Even though their map designs weren't always perfect, they still had maps that gave you enough distance to actually want to adapt to a slower, more methodical playstyle, so not every match played the same at the, or at the same pace. Quick scoping is possible in those games, but it's not encouraged or required. You can actually take your time, set up a position on a hill somewhere, or rooftop, or bottom story of a building, or whatever, and you're not going to be punished for it. And I'm, I'm okay with a little bit of, like, tactical camping, because that's fine in my book. If your weapon is a bolt-action scoped rifle, I'm not going to blame you for camping with it. I'm just going to have to work around that. So, speaking of working around that, one of the things that I have not talked about with Modern Warfare yet is the fact that you can change your class mid-game. Now, I still don't know if I like this idea because I'll get into that in a different video, but if somebody is ruling the match with a sniper rifle, being able to change your class mid-game is kind of a godsend. Because if you didn't have a class to counter him, you could then switch one of your classes to being a DMR or something to counter snipe or maybe even an LMG to suppress his ass. If he's being really campy, you can switch to a noob tube, add a grenade to your class that didn't have one, and this is kind of where the game falls apart in my mind, but again, that's a whole different video. But you can switch to a smoke grenade if you're on one of the larger 20v20 maps and you don't want to get hit. So if you don't have a smoke grenade, which is fine, some people just don't run smokes, I believe you can add one to your class mid-game. Again, this is a whole other video. So there's ways to counter them, and you might think, okay, you're against snipers, but you're okay with noob tubers. Uh, to a degree I am. Traditionally, in Call of Duty, a noob tuber gets two grenades and they can wreck your ass with them and they don't get more until they respawn. And it looks like in Modern Warfare you're gonna have to give up four grips and other things that might increase your accuracy to run this type of noob tube. And there doesn't seem to be any danger close type of 
perk, so you'll be fine. In fact, I'm worried about concussion nade spam, or anyway, I keep digressing. My concern with snipers in Modern Warfare is that they're going to try to make them too fast and too agile to combat the faster time to kill in this game. This game isn't like Black Ops 4, it doesn't take an extra shot or two to kill, it's going to be, like, you know, Modern Warfare style speeds, you know what I mean? Like the Call of Duty Ghost Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare series, time to kill. So I'm worried that they're going to speed that up, and we'll see that when I watch some more of the 2v2 alpha gameplay. I'm sure some people have already you know, decided whether or not snipers are over or underpowered, although we won't really know until we get our hands on the main beta and then of course the full game. But I think a sniper should reward somebody that gets the first shot, so what I hope they do is drastically increase the flinch on sniper rifles to encourage you to be concealed and to fire first. So if it requires you to be incredibly fast, you should have to be incredibly fast. I think the sniper rifles in Modern Warfare should reward players that are not seen and are hitting first, and, he and here's the reason though, right? Call of Duty snipers are easy and powerful. They don't require headshots only, they don't have bullet drop or travel time, and I know that there's bullet travel time in Modern Warfare, but I doubt it's going to be to the degree that you need to be leading targets. Every video I've watched about the gameplay of Modern Warfare, nobody's brought it up that the bullets are moving that slow, so I'm guessing that's not a thing. I'm guessing it's going to be more like Black Ops 4, where yes, technically the bullets are projectiles, but you're not leading shots because of it. And anyway, because they're easy and because they're not giving you all the things other shooter snipe rifles put you through and the time to kill is so fast and pretty easy in Call of Duty, then... I think that they should just reward you for landing that shot before the person knows you're there, before the person can aim and hit you. So I think strong stacking flinch would be a good idea. You get hit once, and your sight gets flung off target a little bit. And then you get hit twice, and then you're really flung off target because the third shot was gonna probably kill you anyway, if in close range, maybe two more shots or so, but I think if you get hit three times, you should basically be unable to aim that rifle. Encouraging you to maybe throw a smoke grenade and get the hell out of there, back up, you know, make sure you have an exit route and cover if you're gonna snipe. I don't think snipers should be a weapon that you can hold your ground with, and this is kind of how it is anyway. Getting shot is kind of a death sentence in an FPS game, so you might think this is dumb, but in Black Ops 4 we had such little flinch, I would shoot somebody twice and they would nail me with a paladin before I could land my third or fourth shot. Also, I hope if there's any attachments that increase damage, it decreases accuracy. Call of Duty Ghost did this beautifully with the chrome line barrel. You had a, you just had a ton more sway and recoil with the chrome line barrel, but you got extra damage. And I think they should bring that back. If you have something that increases your damage and allows you to get, you know, one shot kills at different parts of the body or whatever, I want crazy recoil. I want you to stay on the minimap longer for firing it if you don't have a suppressor on it. And I want the weapon to be heavier. I want your movement speed to be reduced if they do that. There should be negatives for doing this. And I think Modern Warfare is going to do that, actually, because we have pros and cons on each attachment. Let me know what you guys think about this and all, everything I said in this video. Will the map design cater to actual sniping? And will snipers be sped up too much to compensate for the fast time to kill and fast paced nature of the game? Will the fast time to kill counter snipers better because you can kill a sniper with three shots before they hit you with one? I think I'm just scared of Infinity Ward pissing off snipers and quick scopers and that community and also they don't want to make the snipers too hard to use. Snipers are a one shot kill guaranteed drop in Call of Duty. You just delete people off the maps with them and if they were a little harder, I wouldn't mind because they should be a little bit more skill based. Maybe you think they're skill based enough because they're harder to use than an assault rifle, but from the outside perspective, getting nailed by somebody that's extra proficient at breaking sniper rifles in Call of Duty games, it's like, it, it doesn't seem fair, it doesn't seem balanced, it seems like even if it took you a long time to learn, you're still kind of breaking the game. I look forward to reading your comments about this thing, and my next video will either be about shotguns, melee weapons, or being able to change your classes mid-game. I don't know what my next video about this will be. Anyway, I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye. That's a grenade. Oh, man. Nice. <laughs> it just works. That does just work. God damn it. Ah! Oh, fucking murder them. Yep.
Oh, lordy lordy. You know, I was just positive I made Ow. it past him. Damn. By, only by five, though. Uh, 26. I'll take 26 kills.